One Lincoln woman and her family have spent decades updating and perfecting the Christmas lights in her front yard, turning it into one of the biggest displays across the city. And with the help of one Lincoln man working to find and map the best lights in town, it's bringing even more attention to their incredible work. 1011's Matt Kirkle spoke with that woman about her display and the man putting her on the map. He brings us this story. Phillips Lincoln Lights started about 10 years ago and has had tens of thousands of people join his Facebook page, hoping to pinpoint the best Christmas lights in town. The woman I spoke with has been on the Phillips map since the beginning and her display is pretty remarkable. We've been doing it since at least 90, 1990, maybe before. Over the last 30 years, Pat Etherton and her Christmas lights display have put on a show for the city. The goal is we have to have it on for Thanksgiving because so many people look forward to that. And the show goes on every year, no matter what. So we did it two whole days and even nights in the rain <laughs> this year. And with the help of her son, Brian, her display has gotten bigger and better each year. It's kind of a labor of love for us, for sure, because who wants to be out in the rain and the freezing cold doing it otherwise? And almost everything in their display is custom made by her son. He did the Merry Christmas one and he did the elves and he loves Charlie Brown's story and so he did a lot of that. The flag has means a lot to me. He did that for, for uh, when the uh, Twin Towers went down. And Pat says more people have been driving by to see it in recent years, thanks to one Lincoln man on a mission. And here's the map page on the website. And Philip Wagoner started Phillips Lincoln Lights about 10 years ago, mapping out the best Christmas light displays in town. And I thought to myself one year, hey, I can start sharing this with others and they'll, they'll, they might get some use out of it. So it grew from there. Now he shares that map with a Facebook group of about 30,000 people. The users on the Facebook group are um, one of my biggest resources to kind of find things. And for Philip, being able to do this every year is humbling. Everyday people who want to go do something with the family, something that I grew up doing with my family. So just to give back to people is, is good for me. And even though Phillips Lincoln Lights is hosting its first display contest this year, Pat says that's not why she does this every year. It's more important to, to us and to Brian, I know too, that uh, we just have a display that people love and um, can celebrate the season. Contest submissions for Phillips Lincoln Lights runs until December 10th for anyone hoping to show off their own lights. And if you're interested in checking out Pat's lights or any of the other amazing displays across the capital city, just head over to this story on our website.